since if it is a square family so 2 under root 1 minus p by d ka whole square is equal to 1 for a square fabric that is both side jammed if it is not both side jammed then the equation is this. 1 minus p by d ka 1 by d ka whole square plus p2 by d ka is equal to 1 because in a square fabric what happens is everything is equal everything means p1 is equal to p2 p h1 is equal to h2 small d1 is equal to small d2 so all these things are equal so it is two times so this is for square fabric square jammed square both sides jammed oh so square <coughs> sorry square yeah, yeah. square jammed fabric yeah, square jammed fabric is 2 root 1 minus b by, d, by d, d the whole d square is equal to 1. Uh -huh. And if it is a, only a jammed fabric, both sides jammed, then the equation. Getting? Both sides jammed? Upper, upper the, hola, this, is, fabric. this is only jammed. Both sides jammed. This is only both sides jammed. So, if you uh, solve both sides jammed only, then the formula is like this uh, 1 minus p by d but if it is jammed also if it is square also if it is square p1 and p2 will all be equal then it the same thing will become 2 under root p minus 1 minus p by d also. okay if it is square and jammed then it is 2 root 1 minus p okay and this is this is important getting yeah. So uh, sometimes it says that uh, this question uh, I will this says that A crimp percent of a square fabric in which thread spacing is equal to the yarn diameter. Thread spacing, uh, crimp uh, percent of a square jammed fabric. So, for a square jammed fabric, you uh, know in which thread spacing is equal to the yarn diameter. So, thread spacing is equal to the yarn diameter and no jamming takes place. So, in this way, it is said. So, H1 is equal to 4 by 3 and root C1 P2. So, since it is a square fabric, H is equal to D1 and D1 is equal to D. And uh, since it is said that uh, uh, P is equal to 2 times D, matab, uh, yarn diameter, fabric diameter is equal to D1 is equal to D. So, we will solve and we will be able to solve for crimp. So, crimp we will found out to be 14%. This way we will solve. If suppose it is guessed that uh, is a square jammed fabric so uh, for a square jammed fabric 2 under root 1 minus by d ka whole square is equal to 1 if you will solve that then it will come out to by d and is p by 2 so p you have to calculate under root 3 by 2 suppose fabric diameter is given to be 0.5 mm in this case 5 mm and you will calculate the value of centimeter or mm if you have to calculate n n is equal to 1 upon n is ends it is equal to 1 upon getting mm. so in this way you have to solve uh, this, this question and uh, next case is case number 2 is one jammed and one is straight fabric one side is jammed this part one side is straight so in this case what happens is uh, the other existing formulas does not occur and here what you will have to remember that uh, theta is pi by 2 and uh, you know, all these uh, you know, formulas little bit changed uh, but uh, when you will calculate the cream percent for this case the cream percent is always 57 percent how you will calculate 57 percent 1 plus c1 equal to l by p2 if you will put the value of l1 as d theta 1 p2 as d sine theta 1 as uh, is said in the equation then you will calculate pi by 2 upon sine pi by 2 then it will Getting. Hmm. So in this way we have to calculate.